video that is um, the same kind of structure. I will focus on three aspects. So we're working a specific muscle group and do it in a dance kind of way, but also for non-dancers. Dancers have long and lean muscles opposed to bulked up muscles. I'll go through a little warm up. I'll do four moves of each muscle group and then I'll do an isometric move and a stretch. I really hope you enjoy this and have so much fun. Uh, let's have some fun together and let's start by rolling our arms like so in circles and just stepping forward. Just warming up the body here. Taking deep breaths. And smile because you know you're going to have a nice workout now. Go forward. You can feel how heavy your arms are. Alright. Up and down. Already thinking about your core, sucking your belly button in. You already want to start with good posture and you're in front of your feet, not on the heels. Because that doesn't really work. Now circling the feet. This might be hard for people who don't point their feet ever, but that's okay. It's a good way for your feet to warm up. And it's also healthy for your feet. So if you're not able to do this, maybe just do it more often, then you will be able. But just twist in your spine. Now we're going into more cardio-like movements. We're going to squat down, twisting the spine with your hands like so, and then brushing them forward to the side. So you brush down, plie, plie, plie. You can use your momentum. Stretch out your arms. My arms are quite flexible and it's actually kind of hard to manage them sometimes because there's no proprioception in my arms. They're just so loose. So, so I have to work on the strength so I know where my arms are. Now just light jog, adding the arms here. Now to the second, in and out. Crisscross. Hops touch. My knees and then we're almost finished. I'm gonna start with the arms. Today we'll be focusing on arms, feet and calves and the glutes. So relax, take a deep breath. All right guys, let me change my hair. So this is a combination of downward dogs, planks, and child poses. What we're gonna do, start on all fours, doing the downward dog as I've talked about in many videos, how to perform that. So pushing your tailbone up high, your heels into the floor. It's the morning for me and I haven't stretched yet, so <laughs> if it's the same for you, just take it slower, you know? Don't go full out. Your heels don't have to touch the floor. It's more important to have the tailbone high. Okay, so you're here. Walk into plank, using your triceps to come down here. You can hold it too. <laughs> and then, so cobra stretch, back into child's pose on all fours. All right, let's just do it. Downward dog, plank, triceps, push up, 
child's pose for us. Downward dog, plank, arms, cobra stretch, child's pose. Downward dog. And you're using your shoulders and your arms to hold yourself up here. And now you don't have to do this one. There's too much movement going on and you want to be more precise about what you're doing. Just leave out like the cobra stretch. Walk into plank, tricep. So you, from here, you just go into child's pose. Warming up the arms, the shoulders, your core, okay? So using your core and your arms a lot. You're lengthening the arms. Triceps up and child's pose. Okay, next move is quite balletic. So in ballet, we have the arms in second, first, and fifth. We're just gonna do those. Your elbows are up. You shouldn't be dropping them like this. So think about elbows up and arms long. Your fingers are long as well. So you're going to go at first, as if you're holding a ball here, and up, as if you're bringing the ball up. Then back down, second, first, fifth, first and second. That's all we're gonna do. Just breathe. And I remember coming back from winter vacation to dance college and you notice the arms right away. Like that's before you feel the legs or the feet. At least I did feel the arms the most. Because in dance class, you literally have your arms up all the time and you never do have that in real life like when do you ever have your arms like this you know so it's important for dancers even if they're on vacation um to like keep that going and keep the strength and the yeah the arms have to be high you know don't worry if um, your positions don't look as balletic just just get the gist of it. It doesn't have to be the ballet movement, but just try your best. It's, it's not about that, you know? It's about your strength right now. So like I want everyone to be able to join in on this, dancers or non-dancers. But can you feel your arms working? I can. <laughs> That's why ballet uh, people have such thin arms too. <laughs> All right, hold it there, push out. Okay, so we're gonna hold this and just do jazz arms like this, in and out. So jazz is quite different from ballet, but um, yeah, you have the palms facing inwards like this. This is the first, this is the second. So we're just doing, yeah, a variation of that. I can feel it in my arms. <laughs> just back and forth. Just a few more. Last one. All right, now push your arms, flex them, Whew. and now circle. Twice, and circle up twice. Circle, circle. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two. Really feel like you're pushing and flexing. All 
Also think about your posture. It's like your belly button in and your neck is long. Okay, now go back into second. All right, now relax down. We're going into the isometric movement. Uh, it's literally the same concept as in my other video, like the structure of it. And we're just going to do a single plank hold here. Um, we're not holding it for too long, so don't worry. It's also like, try not to twist too much, but try to like, yeah, keep a plank-like thing here going on. And um, yeah. Also, don't have all the pressure on the ball of your hand. Is that the ball? I don't know. On that. All right, let's switch. Yeah, just strengthening the arm. Mine is a bit shaking here, but that's okay. <laughs> Now round two. So remember what we did. Started here, pushed up and downward dog, plank, arms. You really can go slow here, so you're using your arms. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do this a bit slower now. So we can really think about every movement here. Lengthening the spine, using the shoulders, breathing. Walking into plank and down, up. Don't worry if your control isn't there yet, but you're only gonna get better by doing it. So don't discourage yourself. I remember when I um, was just starting to do like some workout things and I would be in a plank and look at my belly, it was horrible. That was so bad. It made me want to not do anything at all because I felt so discouraged. Or like watching videos where they are so good at everything and I was just felt so miserable. Um, so yeah, don't give up, okay? Like that's all I have to say right now. Really don't give up because um, yeah, you're going to get better eventually, yeah, of course. So. <laughs> Breathing in and out. Really feeling your arms and your shoulders and the control. Breathing in. there. So the movement comes from the back and that's why ballet or dancers they have a lot of back muscles and they use the arms so much you know. And pushing the shoulders down Keeping the neck long, looking graceful, and yeah. <laughs> okay, last one now. All right, now we're finished. So jazz arms, just open and close. 
This is not really a jazz position too much. Like, this is third, this is first, and this is second. Yeah, so this is not really, this is just a variation, you know, <laughs> to like move the arms. But I can feel it in the back of my arms here. You might also feel it here. I don't really because I do have my arms up like this a lot, but you might be feeling it up there as well, just because you're holding your arms up. Yeah. So the weather's been really weird here. Like, Germany doesn't really rain that much, especially not in summer. Okay, we're gonna flex and just circle, circle, circle. So yeah, it's been raining every single day and I've been almost home for like three weeks now. I've been in London a week, but I think it's been like three weeks I've been home um, and it's been raining every single day and there's no sun and it's June, it's almost July. So, so I don't know what's up with Germany. Everything's so green. <laughs> muscles should be working for pushing yourself up and not sinking down so like you know yeah. strengthening the arm also using the core core is hard <laughs> switching Lengthening up. Also, don't hyperextend your arm. So that, like, that's the thing too. So you can see, I could <laughs> literally do this, but I have no control like that. So I actually have to bend my arm the same way I have to bend my knees when I dance. It's kind of strange, but that's what hyperextended people have to do. <laughs> so even if you're not hypermobile, be aware of not over, you know, doing that with your arm. Pulling up. Okay. okay, we're just gonna take a stretch for the arms, wrap them around like this. As I said, I have really flexible arms, so don't compare yourselves with me, please. Um, yeah, and it's not. <laughs> so it's not really very good either for me because it makes me feel a bit floppy and clumsy at times. Because I don't feel like I have that much control in my arms. Uh, yeah. You can also take these stretches across your neck or like here. Do a stretch here. Like so. Or above, you know. Or like this one as well. Like that. Whatever feels good, you know. <laughs> okay, we're going to move on to our second thing, which are your glutes. Uh, dancers have quite, you know, strong glutes. That's because we use it so much all the time. Okay, so we're gonna go squat down, crisscross, squat down, crisscross. So this is a bit jumpy, the heart rate going up, sit down low in the squat, back is straight, and jump high and tall like a dancer, two more, Go on all fours, and this is also good for your core and your stability. Just lengthen out. 
thing finished. But yeah, you can point your foot or flex it however you want to. I have another video on glutes. You can check that out. It's literally like four minutes of just glute work. And it's pretty good. Like, I do loads of exercises in those four minutes. Uh, yeah. So here, the important to use the core. Really being aware of everything you're moving here. Also flex the foot if you feel like it. Keeping the knee high. Balance again. And breathing in and out. I'm just sliding the foot across. stabilizing muscles here, wrapping around the leg so you don't feel wobbly, and switch. Back is long, shoulders down. Breathing in and out. Hold on to something. You don't have to be in turnout. You can also turn your feet in, but flex your foot, just lengthen it back like so. And holding it there. So this is a bit similar to what I did yesterday, but the so okay for me it was yesterday, but for you maybe not. But I was holding the attitude like this, but this is just lengthening and not very high, as you can see. Just using your, your glutes here. Lifting up, strong core, breathing. the leg turned out though. Well you can turn it in but I feel like turned out attacks a different kind of muscle group right here which dancers use so much because we always lift up from the glutes. They're never like squeezed together too much but they're engaged and they hold you. There's so much stability you get from that. Hold. Isometric movement, go on all fours. Stretch your foot out 
and lift it. You can flex and point, maybe to keep you distracted from the pain. <laughs> Don't try to shift too much. Keep it at a 90 degree angle. And switch. And down. Let's stretch out the, uh, the glutes a little bit before we continue. So, oh sorry, so I, I just cross my leg over and then I take my other leg, pushing the knee out and toward the body. I'm breathing in. And the other side. Okay. Round two, squat and crisscross. Jump high and low. Two more. All right. Go on all fours. And opposed to this, we're going to lengthen the leg now. So we'll have some variation in there. Flex or point, whatever you want to do. Being aware, keeping the core and your back working together, the abs and the back like a corset holding you looking down helps if you feel a bit unstable you can also go a bit slower Hold it. And down. Okay. Squat. And bring your leg down across. So this is really frontal and this is lateral to the side. Keeping your back long, you don't want to end up like this. Makes the movement so much harder. That's what good posture is for. It makes everything actually easier because it also looks easier. You kind of fool yourself because if I do it like this, <laughs> opposed to, ow, you know? So it helps yourself in a way too. But keep low. Last one. Hold it. And up. We'll start on this side now. Flex your foot and bring it back. And hold it. Feel free to take breaks, really. And have a sip of water. Okay. So that really helps because you can get back on the horse though. Like, okay, so if you're really exhausted and you feel like this is too hard for you, then yeah. But if you know you can actually do it, take a break and then come back, okay? So, yeah. <laughs> don't take it too easy on you. You have to challenge yourself a little bit, okay? Hold it. 
Bring it up by the leg. In and out. So again, the stability that we talked about yesterday, that you're strengthening the muscles in a way that they can hold and it will have the effect of, ta-da, you know, so you won't be wobbling around, you know, that you feel like you have control. Dancers must have a lot of control and a lot comes from the core. I know right now we're focused on the glutes here, but your core is actually working as well in all the movements. A few more. Hold it. See if you can balance. All right. Isometric movement. Lengthening out and up. And back down. Out and up. Stretch. Can do the other one we just did. You always want to stretch out your muscles, okay? Okay. All right, we're on to the next one, the third one. It's the feet and the calves. So we're going to start with double hops from side to side. Like so. Keeping it light on your feet. Using your arms to help you. And stretch your foot up. Try to stretch your foot. If you don't, you can, you can jump like this. But going through your foot will make you jump higher. But don't put too much effort into this. It's not supposed to be hard. It should be like little jumps when you're a kid. You know? A few more. Last one. Okay, so whatever feels comfortable for you, just turn out your feet a little bit, okay? So if it's here, it's totally fine. What you're gonna do is you lift up your heels, just bounce. Using the glutes here, right there, those are the muscles the dancers use to push yourself up. So I like to use the floor because this is too bouncy. So just bounce up and down. Big thing up, 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 as opposed to like down. We're keeping the legs straight as well. Again, the core is working as well. A lot of movements don't just include like the calves or the feet. It attacks so many other aspects as well. The glutes, for example, the core right now. The, the arms not so much right now. So like if it would be like this, of course, you can do that if you want to. But focus on the calves here. Can you feel them? You literally are working your calves here, going up and down. Now rise up. And 
back down. Just a few more. Ooh, I can feel it. <laughs> and up. Plie to stretch out the calves a little bit here. So this is parallel now. Plie, lift up your heels, stretch your legs, and come down. Plie, lift heels, stretch, come down. If this is challenging for your balance, feel free to take a chair. Just do the same thing. Using the core, thinking about your posture, neutral hips. Really going through the feet as well. So you're strengthening the feet and your calves. The feet and the calves, also your ankles, they're all like connected together. So it's hard to just do something for your feet that won't affect your calves or vice versa. So that's why I put them together. And also because non-dancers don't really feel the need to strengthen the feet, um, but maybe the calves. But strengthening the calves in this way will strengthen the feet. Okay, next one is also good for jumping. Again, natural turnout, don't force anything. And you'll just do demi point like this and then stretch your foot, exploding to the side in a way. So, demi, explode, demi, and down. Okay? So, okay, yeah, you don't have to stand in first at all for this, actually. I don't want to force anything. So, just do it like this. You don't have to come back and first. But going through the foot. Demi stretch, demi in, down. Switch. This is good for jumping. That's the way you jump. Really feeling the muscles in your foot moving you up and exploding up. All right, the isometric move is literally just releve up. Releve is rising up and holding it. Feel free to, you know, hold on to something if you feel that need. Also, I don't want to do it on the mat because I feel a bit wobbly on the mat. So I'll do it like this. In your the posture, ripple spine. Glutes are working here. So if they're not working, if they're really loose, squeeze them together here. Squeezing the belly button in. Your shoulders are down. Feel free to come down whenever you need to and come back up. Also attacks the calves. Okay, so we're doing a calf stretch first. You're going to sit like this, clasp your hands together, and literally put all the weight onto the foot, stretching the calf. So the heel is down. Just rocking back and forward. Okay. Take your foot, turn it in like this, and stretch it. So you get a nice stretch here. Go 
also stretch your feet like this. Stretch them out a little bit. Another good calf stretch is at the stairs. So you stretch your calf down, stretch your calf down. Okay, I put the mat away now because I'm not really using it. So we're going back into the jumps. Double hops. And after that, we can stretch. Last one. Okay, landing nicely is also quite hard to do, which is using the feet. Again, natural turnout. Little rises up. Don't touch the floor with your heels if you can. So you literally up all the time. Take your arms to the second to balance. And rise and lower, do it again. <laughs> We plie, we releve, and up. Sorry about the cracking in my feet. That just happens. <laughs> yeah, just re literally feel free to hang on to something here. Uh, I don't have anything. <laughs> so, yeah, do that please. Toes are flat on the floor too, so they're not squeezing together or you don't have any hold. Your feet have to be like this, like the toes, flat on the floor. And actually pushing into that arch as well, if you want to, you can do that, pushing into the arch and up. Back into whatever position you want. Just doing demi and point. Exploding to the side. <laughs> this leg is actually pulling up all the time here. So you don't want to sit onto it and be like, yeah, I got this. It has to be up. can do this obviously slower than me, okay? You don't have to do it as fast. A few more. Last one. All right, now I just go into releve and hold. You don't have to have the arms up, <laughs> sorry. My calves are working. My glutes are engaged. They're not squeezed together. They're just engaged, okay? But they are working, they're not loose.
come down and back up. So I know my feet are like strong from dance and everything. So please don't, if you've never done anything like this before, don't compare yourself too much to what I'm doing, like how much I'm holding it or how balanced it looks. Please be free to do, hold on, you know. It's just what I need, that's why I do it like this. Because this is also a workout for me, you know. But yeah, strengthening the feet is actually really good. Like, I can literally feel my feet, like the muscle. You have a lot of muscles in your feet that you might not be aware of. But there are a lot of muscles in there. All right, to finish it, we're just going to stretch out again. Either do that calf stretch again. And just breathe. Switch. Stretching out your feet. And the stairs, calf stretch. All right, so that's it. I hope you feel so much more energized and strong now. And feel free to do this video as many times as you want to. You can't take breaks, you can't take sips of water. Please let me know how you find this video. So I just know what you want to see or, or if it's like too hard, or too easy, you know. Yeah, because sometimes I really don't know, you know. I have my mom do things and think about, okay, can people who don't dance at all, can they do this? So please let me know, okay? Yeah, subscribe for more videos and have an awesome day. I hope you feel happy throughout the day. See you next time. Bye!